Hello, this is Jonathan with Vortec. Today I will show you how to use the new 3D model feature in Vortex Spaces. You know, with any projects, adding a couple of decoration items will not only help making it look more real, but it will also make it look more inviting and warmer, helping your customer making a decision. With the 3D model feature, we're helping you giving some life to your project with just a couple of simple clicks. So first thing you should notice is that there's now a new tab available inside Vortex Spaces called 3D Models. When you click on it, it will bring a menu with different 3D model categories. So you'll have some built-in items, you'll have also some branded items, and you also have the imported 3D models. So let's start with just a generic item, for example, a kitchen decoration. We'll go with the apple ball. So when I click on it, you see now when I move my mouse around, the ball will just follow the mouse. So it's called the, like, the follow feature. And then when I'm ready, I just click again, and then my object is there. At that point, you'll see those arrows, and those are the same arrows that you see uh, for the light moving, for example, so uh, like users will be uh, used to those. So with one arrow, you can move it in one direction, and with the square in the middle, you can move it in two different directions. You can also use here, for example, on the left side, you've got the rotation. So for example, if you want to turn it around, You've got also a scale option. So if you want to scale this object to any size that you, that you want, you've got the delete. Then you've got also a quick rotate that will just turn it 45 degrees at a time. And then when you click here, that's the follow feature again. So you can just move that object and get it to follow your mouse again uh, very easily in the project. Then another type of object that I will import is from the Wayfair catalog. So when you go in there, what's nice is that you have access to over 40,000 different objects. When you click on them, uh, you can also use the filter if you want to look for a specific item in your catalog. Otherwise, you just click on the item, then you go and place it just like uh, we did before. Uh, you can also use the letter Q on the keyboard if you want to easily rotate the object while you're going to position it inside your room. So the new 3D model feature in Vortex Spaces also let users import your own 3D models. To do that, uh, you go back to that 3D models uh, view. And then on the bottom right, you see you can click on import a 3D model. At this moment, we support three different format files. The first one is the Collada file that will come as a zipped folder, uh, mainly from uh, the 3D warehouse, for example. We also support the GLB file, which is another 3D file exchange format that will be used mainly on websites like Sketchfab, for example. And then also the VOK file. So anything that you will export from SketchUp uh, or Cabinet Vision as a VOK file can be imported as a 3D object. Um, so let's start with an example from uh, the 3D warehouse, for example. So uh, if I just go and open my uh, 3D warehouse website there, uh, there's a metal chair that I want to uh, incorporate inside my Vortex pieces. So what I'll do, I'll just click on download. And at this moment, uh, you don't want to download a SketchUp file, you just want to download the Collada file. So you just do that like that. So it will just save a zip file on my computer. So now going back to spaces, when I click on import 3D model, I'll be able just to go in my uh, downloads and find that chair that I've just downloaded, click on open. And now spaces will in incorporate that model inside my scene. Just like that. And just as before, I can go in and move it around uh, in my room. Once the chair has been imported in my scene, I can go back to material, for example, and just change change the material on my chair to uh, something else. So let's say I want to just put it in a black metal. Like that. Once you've made modification to your chair, right now the model is only imported inside this project. But if I want to save it in other projects, what I can do is basically just go back and click on my chair. And now you'll see that uh, it will show up as a new item in my imported 3D uh, folder. And here, when I click on the arrow, I can just click on save this 3D model to my library. So when I do that, it will create a copy of that 3D model and save it to my library. Same thing will happen with pretty much any other 3D objects that you, that you will pick from the uh, built-in um, libraries, uh, where you can just go and take any of those objects, change the material, and then save them back to your imported 3D models. Thank you for watching. You can click below to see the final result of this project. 
Make sure to watch the other videos in this series covering materials, lighting, videos and pictures, VR extension, and way more. If you are interested, we also offer one-on-one -on -one personalized online training covering all of the aspects of the application.